Walmart's got a 21 piece survival kit for $30. So before you buy it, let me try it. Let you know if it's worth the money or if this product's just funny. We're back to the Spackman testing grounds. We're gonna look at the contents of this survival kit and let you know if it's worth the money. Remy dog. <laughs> that was kind of cool. It does come with an Ozark Trail patch. First impressions, there's a lot of empty space. But the first thing I'm looking for is a fire starter, which is right here. No, fire striker. It does come with an Ozark Trail striker and a ferrocerium rod. The striker is a striker. It looks like it. this may be a bottle opener right there and also a little wrench. It also has non-American rulers on both sides in case you need to measure your people. You do need to clean the paint off of it as they paint it. But once you do, you can throw sparks. Let's just get some coffee going while we talk about this. I mean, it's a ferro rod. It semi works. I doubt this handle will hold up to long-term use, but you have this. This might be the coolest thing that comes in this survival kit, so we'll save that for last. In the little pocket, you have one of those stupid credit card knives things. I do wanna add, me and Lila already went through this and the card holder split open. First time touching it. Comes with two whistles, Ozark Trail whistles. I don't know if it was supposed to come with two or if this was a typo. Both seem to work. Comes with one of those wire saws. This is not paracord, it's just cheap line. Comes with a, a bag. <laughs> a little locking carabiner. It does say not for climbing. Now this is kind of cool. It comes with four wax twine fire starters, it looks like. But each one of these counts as one of the items in this 22 piece survival kit. To use these, you want to fluff it up and get those fibers going. Let's pull out the handy dandy knife that it comes with. Ozark Trail, spring assisted, belt cutter, glass breaker. And it was kind of sharp. So we have that too, pocket knife, spring assisted. I do like spring assisted knives. They're kind of fun to play with. Let's see how long this actually burns for. There we go. That's uh, it's actually working. That worked pretty nice. We'll see how long this other thing, the whole thing burns for just sitting like that. So you do get four of those. Very, very waxy. Comes with a pair of scissors. For some reason, again, it has a non-American ruler on the scissor in case you want to cut something to a certain length, I, I guess, in non-American measurements. That flashlight was in there. Comes with a zoomable flashlight. It does not come with a battery, but luckily I always carry batteries in my pocket. Don't you? It looks like it takes one double A and it is very loose in there. This isn't gonna light up a forest, but it might light up a book for you. And the zoom function does work. It's not the brightest, but in a survival situation, it's better than a candle. Two glow sticks. You get a hank of paracord. Let's see if it has strands. They can at least give us paracord with strands, right? I'm kind of surprised that rope is still burning. Oh yeah, it does have inner fibers. Okay, that's a plus Ozark Trail, not bad. Oh, it comes with another multi-knife. It has a, a blade, a screwdriver can opener, another can opener kind of edge right there, a pair of scissors, flip it over to your corkscrew, Phillips head screwdriver, and I can't even get that one out, but it's a nail file. Oh, it comes with a spork, whistle sheath, and a knife with another can opener. Now this knife spork thing is kind of cool. It has these holes 
So you can actually lash this to a stick and make a spear. And it also has a hook on it, so when you stab stuff, you get hooked in there. There's no real tip on it. It looks like we have coffee. The sheath, if it goes in the wrong way, is very loose and it will fall right off. So make sure if you're using this, you put it on the correct way. The sheath is also a whistle. Which sucks. These ones are much better and that's probably why they give you two because this one's garbage. And you have another whistle. They give you four whistles in the survival kit. Yeah, so you can call your dog. Look, he came. Good boy, good boy, good boy. This one might be the best out of all of them. It also has a compass and it points to north. It also has a, sh a ferro rod in the middle of the buckle right here with a striker on the other side. And that works just about as good as you'd expect it to. It does come with paracord, so you get extra paracord. And that looks like the same paracord with inner fiber, so that's more line. Fire starter is definitely uh, exceeding my expectations with that. There's a spark. Okay, it's sparking. I had to turn the striker around to get anything off of it. That works. Here's a bottle holder. I don't know why every survival kit from China gives you one of these, but on one side it has a belt loop or backpack loop with Velcro and a button. They include the button because the Velcro is crap. And that's it for the contents. This, guess what this is? It's another world's largest crack spoon. It's another tiny shovel branded by Ozark Trail but I have a feeling it's the same shovel that you get in any one of these survival kits with another beer opener, a tiny saw, a nail puller, a pickaxe, and a shovel. On the bottom, or on the handle, is another button compass. That is now out. I'll put up on the screen how long that burned for. This one is liquid filled, this one is not. But it seems like they both point the north. This one is much better, to be honest. This one is quick, and it points to north fast every time. This one's not bad. This one's janky. This is the world's smallest French press. It's pretty cool. This does not come with a survival kit, but you can get it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. Cheers. The last piece that comes with the $30 Walmart survival kit. It's a bug net. What can I say besides it's a bug net? Bug nets are very important during bug season. This piece of gear alone is the best thing in here, I have to say. This will let you survive no matter what. I mean, you take this out into the wild, you're surviving anywhere because it's important. Bug nets are important. It's coffee friendly too. All right, $30, 22-piece Walmart survival kit. Is it worth the money or is it just funny? Hello, China. Yeah, I'm going to need my money back. This product's just funny.